One of my heroes is Demosthenes of Athens, a Greek statesman and famous orator who at the time of the Athens struggle tried to revive his city's greatness through his powerful speeches. His story is not only interesting because of who he was, but also because of how he got there. Demosthenes was born to a wealthy family, however, his father died when the boy was only seven years old. His guardians embezzled the estate that his father left to him in so much that even his teachers were defrauded of their salaries. As a result, young Demosthenes couldn't obtain a proper education. He couldn't go to the gymnasium with the other boys, but instead spent time alone with the books. In addition to having poor education, Demosthenes had delicate health. His chest was small, he walked around hunched over, and had speech impediment that made people laugh at him when he spoke. He knew that he would have to get over this impairment if he wanted to have a successful career as a public speaker. The chance presented itself when Demosthenes turned 18. He decided to take his guardians to court for the embezzlement of his inheritance. And in Athenian court, you had to speak for yourself. So in order to practice his speaking, he shaved half of his head, he isolated himself from the public eye, and put himself through a series of self-improvement exercises. First, to get over his speech impediment, he invented a little prop, a pebble, that he would put in his mouth and practice elocution. He would take speeches by Thucydides and others and train his speaking apparatus. Tongue, palate, lips, so that even with a pebble in his mouth, he could still be clearly understood. In this way, Demosthenes overcame the first of his obstacles, the speech impediment. Second, to get rid of the weakness of breath, he began to run up hills reciting speeches that he had memorized. He would keep doing this until he got to the point where his wind was so good that he could run and speak without being out of breath. Finally, to strengthen his voice, he practiced at the shore, trying to shout over the roar of the waves so that when he had to stand up in front of the jury of 501 people, everybody would be able to hear him. After this course of rigorous training, Demosthenes went to court and won his case. Demosthenes' example demonstrates perhaps one of the most incredible illustrations of human perseverance over obstacles. And just like Demosthenes, we can embrace the idea that most obstacles are conquerable, even under the most hopeless of circumstances.